Hi friends, welcome back. This is Javed Sheikh. I am the Mathematics faculty here at Time. Now today I am going to discuss with you all uh, one of the doubts that some of my students come came up with, and they said, Ki "Why do we use variables in algebra and not work with numbers directly? Why can't we use characters like this, these type of characters in place of variables such as uh, the alphabets and the letters?" Now the answer for that is the variables. which we use in algebra are mostly for denoting the unknowns whenever a problem is posed in algebra there are one or two unknowns or maybe more than that so in order to denote the unknowns we use variables and we avoid these type of variables because these are not the standardized variables these alphabets from a to z have been standardized for the use of variables in place of these particular alphabets if you use these characters what will happen is it will make the equations look a bit confusing because when we use variables for the unknowns we work out the equations and then we solve the equations and we get the final answer or arrive at the final solution so in order to avoid that particular confusion using these particular characters we use variables such as alphabets and letters from a to z now let us see so using one of the examples how it works for us when we use variables such as these alphabets and letters rather than these characters okay so let us now see with an example how this particular variables such as the alphabets and the letters look good in an equation let us take a very famous riddle which goes like this some birds were sitting on one particular branch of a tree and some birds were sitting on another branch of a tree let us denote those two branches as b1 and b2 now what i have done is i have taken this particular variable to denote the number of birds sitting over here on branch b1 as x and the other variable i have taken is y which is the number of birds sitting on branch b2 now the birds on branch b1 say that if one of you flies and comes over here so we will become twice your number now what we do is how do we solve this type of an equation we will immediately subtract one from here because one bird flies from here that means one is less over here now the y birds one flies from here to the branch one so that it becomes y minus 1 and here since one bird is added over here so we will get x plus 1 and this particular number they say is twice the number now at branch 2 so x plus 1 is equal to twice y minus 1 so finally we get after simplifying the equation we get x minus 2y equal to minus 3 that is equation number 1 second condition we have is the birds on b2 they say that if one of you flies and comes over here we will be equal in number both of the branches with that will have equal number of birds so here if one flies from here it will become x minus 1 1 has gone from here to that side so x minus 1 and this will become y plus 1 now i have taken alphabets or letters over here as the variables so x minus y is equal to 1 plus 1 so that becomes or that after simplification gives us x minus y equal to 2 so this is the second equation so you have seen that the alphabets make the equations look much more uh, easier and much more convenient to solve now here supposing if we use characters like this as some of the students told me and why don't we use characters like this so if we use characters like this just look at this how confusing the equation look so in order to avoid the confusion here using these characters these particular alphabets and letters have been standardized by the mathematicians they have standardized the use of alphabets and letters for variables so this is the concept behind it all the best for it